Today, we'll learn how to use the document server in order to save documents that require frequent printing. This is great for forms, brochures, and other documents that you may need to print frequently. By saving them to the document server, everyone in your office will have access to make copies at the machine without needing a PC or the original document. Before we begin, I will show you how to add the document server to the main menu. Follow along with the steps as shown. This next step will prevent the copier from deleting files from the document server. By default, the machine will normally delete a file after three days to save on memory. I will show you how to manually delete old files later on in this video. Our first task in the document server is to create a folder for our specific files. In this case, I'll create a folder for my forms. While these folders can be password protected, I would recommend only using these folders for public documents so everyone has access to them at any time. With all of that out of the way, we can finally scan our document into our folder. Grab your original document and place it on the document feeder. You'll see the button to scanning screen on the bottom left corner. Before you scan your original, Make sure to give it a proper file name and set your target folder to the one you created earlier. Now if you go under your folder, you'll see your new file and can select it. Simply select the number of copies you wish to make and click start. If you need to delete a file, open your folder and select your file. Make sure it's highlighted and then you can press delete file. To delete a folder, you'll need to be on the document server main menu and click on edit folder. Then select your folder and click delete. This is useful if you need to delete every document in your folder at once. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section of this video. As always, have a great day.